Hi, Jack here, and you're listening to Sheffield Live Radio, 93.2 FM, for your listening pleasure. Remember, out there, ain't nothing gonna happen to you, which ain't gonna happen to the rest of us now. So don't sweat the small stuff, huh? And this is Communities Live on Sheffield Live Radio, 93.2 FM, with me, Susie Casson, T-Boy. Hello! putting his feet up now and we're joined in the studio by Alan Trickett. Welcome Alan. Hi, nice to be back again. Yeah, sure lovely to see you. And I, uh, this must be the third time. It uh, is. I you're, again for, you're officially uh, for a friend of the show and you're a member of, of, a founder member of South Yorkshire Freedom Riders. So you're going to update us on what's been happening with that. Yes, uh, that's, uh, that's right. We've been going on now for almost three years and so... It does need a bit of an upkeep from time to time, but uh, uh, I'll follow Susie's lead and then uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, brilliant. So what are the Freedom Riders trying to achieve? Well, basically, uh, we're not greedy people and and we're certainly not uh, uh, a group of old grumpy men like people would like to believe. All we're trying to do is get back what was ours before April 2014. Uh, which was a uh, little bus tra- travel uh, from nine o'clock, not from half past nine. There's no reason why it should be half nine. It was from nine o'clock. And as people have realised now, if you happen to be out late and you get on a bus after 11, your pass is not good, you have to pay. Well, th- that's <laughs> it, it, it's, it's a little unbelievable, but it's true. Now, we're trying to get such things by. Uh, And, of course, the main thing, the train travel. Uh, We could use our passes throughout South Yorkshire, just on the smaller trains, not on on the big expensive trains. These are basically buses on train wheels. And we could use them between nine and all day long uh, throughout South Yorkshire. And then also into West Yorkshire, uh, Wakefield, uh, Leeds, Huddersfield, then you can go further afield on buses, uh, which didn't see many problems. We never stopped people going to work. Uh, we never uh, uh, overfilled buses simply because we're travelling for free. Uh, it was a very, very good service. All the uh, senior citizens enjoyed the days. There was nothing wrong with it. And all of a sudden, out of the blue, we lost everything. Uh, apart from uh, local buses, which the uh, national government pay for. But then that becomes half nine until eleven. So we are still fighting to try and get, get back. Now, uh, everything else is an extra that local government has to pay for. But the small amounts are, are, are rather negligible and also if other areas uh, such as London, Liverpool, Manchester, if they can all keep going with free trains and free uh, uh, undergrounds and free ferries, then why can't South Yorkshire? So that is what we are trying to achieve. Yeah, fantastic. So can can you tell us why the travel concessions were removed? Well. Immediately, South Yorkshire Transport Committee, which is made up of 12 councillors, uh, which I'm sure you're aware, but we'll just... Uh, there's two from Rotherham, uh, two from Doncaster, two from Barnsley, and six from Sheffield. Uh, now, they voted, they was told that they must save money, which it turns out was such a small amount of money that it was negligible anyway. Uh, but they was uh, really conned into a vote. Uh, now, these 12 people, 12 councillors, are virtually all Labour politicians. Now, they was voted 7 to 5 to take away all our concessions. And the two that was the main stumbling blocks that would have stopped it all and could have stopped it very easy were the two Labour people from Barnsley. I would have thought that Barnsley would be, would be eating working men and retirees and also disabled people. Nobody would ever think that Labour 
councillors would do such an outrageous thing, but they did. All in the name of saving money. Without any consultation, of course. They talk about consultation now, whatever that anybody does. We have been in consultation. And normally, it's, do you want this cut or do you want that cut? It's not, do you not want to cut? So this was done without even that, but we've now found that it was not down to money, which we always suspected anyway. The main real reason we now know, it was the then unknown Sheffield Regional Combined Authority, which was formed on the 1st of April 2014. And that just so happens that's one day after local government took all our concessions away. So the only conclusion we can come to is that it was this combined authority that told the Transport Committee what to do and how to vote. And this committee, and it's all about committees, uh, this was made up by leading councillors and business people. Not just your ordinary councillor that you meet uh, in your local town, these are leading people and business people that was never voted into anything anyway. Now, uh, these come from all over South Yorkshire, but then there's also close neighbours in the area, such as uh, Bazitlaw in Nottinghamshire, and Chesterfield in Derbyshire, and also parts of West Yorkshire. Now, the conclusion we've come to, there was one of two things they could do to bring these neighbouring areas into our area. They could either give those other areas the same concessions that we had, or they could take ours away. And we know what the result was, which must have satisfied Derbyshire people and Nottinghamshire people, although, of course, they never got to know about it all. But we're hoping they will get to know very soon, and we would like them to be on our side when, when they do come into our area. And why not? Can they not get the same concession? And while we're doing it, if we're going to get free train travel bike and they want these other areas, let us go to Nottinghamshire. Let us go to Derbyshire. Why, why not? Or is it going to hurt? And why can't we? And why can't their people come to our towns and cities for a day out? So there we are. It was so easy to remove our concessions. They simply told them to have a vote. That was it. Done. Finished. But to try and get bike, now we, we've found that there's committees that form committees and this this is <laughs> what you have to go through and this is how they make it so complicated so you can't get anywhere with them for instance each town i'll just say that for Rotherham at the moment they have a separate transport committee for Rotherham and this is chaired by a lady councillor mrs laliot now she is the chair of that particular committee, but she is also a member of the South Yorkshire Transport Committee. Now, last year, or beginning of, very beginning of this year, she was asked at the meeting to give her comments and how she could possibly help our campaign and our senior citizens, of which she refused to talk. And this is one of the main people involved with all that. Now, Sheffield... A regional combined authority say when you talk to those they cannot overturn what another committee has done so it was the south yorkshire committee that stopped our concessions the new combined authority are saying they cannot overturn and the original transport committee are saying they have no powers now they've all been taken away with them by the combined authority which leaves you in no man's land. They, uh, they're simply just shrugging us off. And again, it's totally uncaring. And it's, we always think that it's all influenced, of course, by big business. It is nothing to do with our own councillors looking after our own...